All right. Easy with that. Ben from R&B Reptiles here. And today we're breeding some skinks. So we have uh, Australian blue tongue skinks. <laughs> and they get crazy. Um, we're gonna show you the real deal. And uh, we have some northerns and some easterns. And stay tuned to this. All right, so we're trying to breed some eastern skinks, eastern blue tongue skinks. Oh, he was right in position. She got away. It can be a bit rough, but uh, he's been a good breeder for us, and this will be, I think, the third lock for him. He's getting in position. You'll see that back leg, he starts to rub her tail. Let's try to get her to lift. Um, come on. She's just not calmed down yet enough and looks like she's almost there. Oh, he let go. Oh, darn. Now he has to get back into position. So this can be a pretty rough process and uh, sometimes it can take a long time, but once they get on, on, then they're good. Let's see if he rubs that back leg there. She has to coax her into it. See his front leg is rubbing her side. He's like, hey, come on. She looks like she's about ready to kind of wear out a little bit and part of their mating process. Oh, there we go. It's just like that. He's, there's another one. He's got uh, this female in position. Really excited to be breeding Easterns. See that back foot there? Trying to coax her into it. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. See, he rubbed that back foot. It's another Eastern lock. Real deal, baby. So this can be pretty stressful for a breeder, um, especially if you're a first time skink breeder. I mean, things get, like we've been saying, pretty violent in the uh, lizard breeding world. Uh, sometimes, hi, we're watching this. Sometimes, <laughs> I'm wa they're gonna kill each other if I don't watch them. <laughs> sometimes they kill each other by accident or on purpose. It act accidentally by us for not paying attention but they can do that if you're not careful they can rip off limbs if you're not careful so you got to babysit them um, very stressful for me anyway I done chuckles a lot I don't know how he feels about it <laughs> I don't like the male hurting the female but I'm excited when they actually breed All right guys, so we're just checking in on some of our rat snakes and this girl is a porphyraceous pulcher, uh, a joint project we have with Sarpamitra and she is gravid. So I'm gonna try to be real gentle here and show you how thick this girl is. So hopefully sometime soon she just shed so hopefully soon she'll be laying her first clutch of eggs for us and uh, they can actually uh, do multiple clutches a year as long as you feed them and pair them right so hopefully this year we'll produce 
a bunch of poultry. Awesome. Uh, we've been doing a lot of pairing with our skinks lately. Uh, if you're on our Instagram, you've been seeing me spam you with skink breeding pictures. So I'm just going through and checking on things. Um, this girl is a crowd favorite usually. Hey. Here's our melanistic blue tongue. She has been uh, paired twice already this season. And we hope to get a couple more good locks in on her. And maybe uh, if we're lucky and everything works out, we'll have some babies. That would be awesome. All the uh, UVB lights are off because it's nighttime now. Yep, but they turn off at seven o'clock. Eastern Standard Time. Seven East. For the Easterns. Seven Easterns time. <laughs> So some people like to keep skinks in rack systems and other people don't and there's sort of a, a controversy about that but I think as long as you're keeping the skink and it's healthy, it's fine. Uh, we decided that we wanted to try giving our skinks UVB so we made these custom cages that we have UVB lights on timers in the back and belly heat running through it. Um, it then comes over here. You can see the heat tape installed now. Last time we showed you this, this wasn't installed. And down the back, it's all on timers. And um, we find that they like to bask. And uh, we like to watch them bask. So it's, it's working out well for us. Um, we do have to adjust the vitamins and calcium that we give them because now that they're getting UVB, they're processing calcium more efficiently. So they need a little bit less of supplementation. Um, but yeah, they're doing very well. And we're real excited about this. We're gonna make a couple more racks, actually, just like this. Because <laughs> we, we, we did them so fast. <laughs> it only takes us three months to do two racks, right? Yeah. If you do the math. And um, <laughs> we got this kind of a, this idea from Ty Park. Yeah, originally saw. it was Ty Park, and um, uh, that we saw anyway. I t when I originally saw it was Ty Park and then it was TC Houston at uh, Reptile Mountain TV. Check him out. He's awesome. He's got a cool YouTube channel. Lots of skink stuff. And uh, they all use um, like halogen or mercury vapor kind of bulbs on the top to get UVB and heat from the top. But we wanted to be able to shrink down the space so we could fit more. That's why we went with belly heat. And uh, it seems to be working out okay. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> So yeah, hopefully you guys saw on Instagram that I was down in Florida. Uh, my girlfriend and I decided to take her nephew down to Florida um, for the weekend. And we visited some friends down there and uh, we got lucky enough to have a tiny bit of time to be able to hit the Tampa Repticon. Um, I didn't have the camera with me, Ryan yelled at me. I know, I know, I should have brought the camera. You guys could have seen some really cool stuff. But I, you know, every some trip picture. has to have five videos to justify it. I don't even care if it's with your girlfriend <laughs> and your, her aunt, or whatever you said. I don't know. <laughs> so I posted some pictures on Instagram uh, of the show, and hopefully you guys saw that. Um, there was a, a couple people that we saw. I met some really cool people that I haven't seen before. Or a couple that I have seen. A couple people that uh, you know we've been talking online and um, like bald exotic reptiles. Uh, pretty cool guy, Jeremy Bald. Cool guy, he had a really nice setup. You guys should check him out on YouTube. He has a channel as well. Chris Davenport from DS Balls also is down there. Uh, he sells Reptichip down in Florida. But uh, he gave me some stickers, and uh, I can show those to you. He showed us, gave us some stickers and a couple shirts. What? I know. So there you go, Ryan. They gave us a couple shirts, uh, you know, it's super humbling when people give us stuff and, you know. Hashtag man and his balls. Hashtag man and his balls. That's right, because he sells ball pythons. So, uh, Chris, thank you so much for these. And, um, uh, next level good shirts. Next level shirts. Woo. So, hashtag man and his balls on one side and then the other side. DS balls. That's awesome. Looks pretty good. I, it's printed well too. Yeah. I'm gonna have to call you and ask you who's your printer. That's what I'm talking about. Man, that's pretty good quality. <laughs> so thanks. What does it taste like? 
<laughs> Tastes like <laughs> can't say it. Family show. Family show. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Chris. We really appreciate it. And uh, you know, we'll put your your link in the description below. Link in the description. We also wanted to show off a new test run of our stickers. We got shiny ones. Hey. You'll never be able to see those on there. <laughs> so they look cool. I, I really like the way these turned out because the whole theme of the sticker is the sun and then you got the shimmery stuff on there. I think it works. Yeah, Ryan just doesn't like me to give out these stickers because if we don't have any sun gazers yet, but I think it's a fun sticker. So, uh, we wanted to get stuff with animals that we like. We can't afford all the animals that we like. It's true. <laughs> but we can afford making stickers of animals we like. And we <laughs> give them away all the time. So I don't know how long we can afford that, but we yeah. just keep doing it. Well, yeah. Okay. So also, I got in uh, an order. Um, I know you guys saw all the uh, stuff going on with Australia. In the furs. The furs. So I ordered two. Yeah, man. The I heck? always think of you. I don't ever think of you. I know. Protect Australia. From yeah. Adeline Robinson. She actually did the artwork on these and this was uh <laughs> I can't see the camera at all. Um so Adeline Robinson who does our artwork as well. Uh, she did the artwork for this and this was uh, proceeds went to Helping out the Australian Zoo where the Irwins are and uh, There's some really cool animals on here. She did Look at all this. Man, she did a great job kookaburra knobtail Knobtail sorry <laughs> Shingleback Parenti that's a koala bear kangaroo. I Forget what those are called it's a email, isn't it? I don't know. It's possible. I, Adeline, I'd have to ask you on that one. I'm not sure. There's a sticker on it. That guy is. It's a marmot. A marmot. I don't think marmots are legal in city limits. Well, it's if you're trying to chase the varmints. I think varmints aren't. <laughs> it's from Big Lebowski. What's <laughs> wrong with you? <laughs> Great, now we got to do a Big Lebowski. Tour. This video is sponsored by Big Lebowski. <laughs> Far out. All right, so I'll I'll put on this one and you put on that one. How do we, how are we gonna do it this time? The same, do the thing. Do we lift it? Are we doing a lift it? You wanna, you wanna wave it like this? Are you gonna loop it and swoop it and pull? Loop it and swoop it and pull? We can. Okay. <laughs> All right, you ready? Ready. All right. I don't know what we're doing. I you think you were gonna whoop. Is that what we're doing? You just said loop it and pull it and pull. So that's okay. what we're doing. Here we go. Ready? Let's right. go. One, two, three. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Wait, I think you edited this wrong. I know I did. Well, it works. I thought I. Is there anything on my back? What's my back say? Diaz balls? What's mine say? Thanks, Diaz Balls. Thanks, Adeline. Thank you guys so much for the shirts. Um, we really appreciate it. And also, you guys should be uh, out there in the community and looking to see where you can help out with different, you know, charities and things like that that you know help protect the animals, to help protect lands. So uh, we appreciate being part of the community. Do good. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, guys. We really appreciate you tuning in to our little show. Hopefully it was interesting. We got to show you some cool animals and some awesome shirts and uh, the community getting together, hanging out. Yeah, and stuff. if you guys have any questions about breeding skinks or uh, you know anything really, we like to hear from you guys. So make sure you guys check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And you can also call or text us or email us. Um, all of our links are in the description below. So make sure you, so you hit much. the subscribe button. Yep. Notification bell. Like, comment, <laughs> share it with your friends. Yeah. Um, do you want to talk about that? About how we like the UVV?
We like the UVB. Um, I thought you were going to stop pausing. <laughs> I don't know what to say. You're putting me on the spot here. <laughs> uh, we have the, we, dude, it was really funny. Mel Brooks in the movies here. It's real bright in here. I know. Right. It was just dark. Look, we rearranged a little bit. Ryan uh, brought back in the insects. <laughs> Our room's not that big. See, you can breed stuff in rooms that aren't terribly large if you have enough racks. Open your mouth a little wider when you talk. Those racks are still empty, Doug. Yeah. Yes. We need to be cleaned and sanitized and repurposed. What do you mean repurposed? For new animals or are you putting like plants in there? We could we could do that. We could put plants in there. No. No, we could <laughs> mushrooms. Oh my goodness. Let's do a little uh... <laughs> signaling ships. Let's see if you are. Please drop off chips. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. The only thing I know is Morse code. <laughs> surprised, surprised you know what Morse code is. Oh, just because you work for the Navy, you know anything about Morse code now? No. Spell I know my, that you. Spell my name in dots. Uh, R A Y N, right? So it's bleep, bleep, it's bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> There's no blood in my name. <laughs> oh, there's blubs in it. <coughs> okay, is that a German accent you put on it? Blur, blur, oh, blur. Blur, 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 blur. Okay, can we focus? Yes, focus. <laughs> is that what we're doing? <laughs> it is now. <laughs> so. So this video is sponsored by Big Lebowski. Can we? We should have white Russians, really. Nah, you're a white Russian. <laughs> okay. We're gonna have to cut that one. Where we're gonna put these on? <laughs> What's mine say? It's. I can't. There's Sweet. kids watching. I can't. Sweet. <laughs> Wait, does it say something else? There's a thing like this, and it just kind of goes. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Am I in it? Am I in it? Are we doing it? Okay. This this video is brought to you by the Big Lebowski. <laughs> this aggression shall not stand, man. <laughs> you know, this aggression will not stand, man.